Hello, everybody. I'm gay. Here we are. It's happening. It's happening right now. Right now on Valentine's Day. I thought this would be the perfect day to make this video, because, you know, day and gay, they rhyme, and rhyming's great, and here we are. It's Valentine's Day, and I'm going to be talking about the gay. The gay today. It's the gay day. So, yeah, here we go. First of all, I cannot believe that I'm even making this video in the first place, because, like, wow, you know what I mean? It's been, it's been a long time coming for me. And before you get on me about my bad art skills, I don't even know where I found this website. I was trying to do it on, like, Paint 3D, this other thing, and it was, like, pretty good. And then I realized it wouldn't let me record on there, so I was just like, well, I guess we're doing something else. And I don't think there's any, like, like start new page or something button on here. So now I'm going to slowly erase all this stuff until I can um, start drawing something else for you people. Oh my god, it's literally going to be tomorrow by the time I'm finished here. Okay, I finally finished erasing everything. So, with this blank new canvas here, in honor of Valentine's Day and me coming out right now, I'm going to be drawing a rainbow heart. Because who doesn't love rainbows and who doesn't love hearts? So, we're going to start with this fun little red down here. And, oh my god, I didn't even really plan how I was going to do this. But I guess I'll just go like this. Oh, oh, that's really pretty. I love that. And then we're going to go like this. And there is our little heart. And while I draw this, I'm going to be talking about some other stuff. Well, you know, keeping on theme, obviously. But yeah, so let's just color this in. Oh god, I can't multitask. Let's start at the beginning, where it all started. When did I know that I was gay? That is a very fun question, and I'm about to answer it, obviously. That's why I asked it to myself. But, um, okay. It was the end of seventh grade. I'm a junior in high school right now. And so this would be about ooh, five years ago, I think. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. But yeah, it was the end of seventh grade. I remember I was just like on the floor in my room, and I was just kind of laying there. And then out of nowhere, I was just like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm gay. Like, it just kind of happened. Like, it just hit me. And I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I didn't try and deny it or anything. I was just like, yep, that's that's what it is. And so I immediately called my one friend who <laughs> was a lesbian. So, like, she knew. We all knew. We were all in the loop. And she's the first person that I told. And she was like, oh, that's so great. And I was like, oh, thank you. And so she was great. And we talked about it. And I just started, like, slowly telling my other friends, I don't think I told anyone else that seventh grade year, because then like summer happened, I didn't tell anyone. But then the start of the next year, that's when things really picked up pace. Eighth grade started, and I started like telling more of my friends, and like no one was ever mean to me about it. Like still to this day, no one's ever been mean to me, which I'm like so happy about. But yeah, so eighth grade started, and that's when I got my first crush. I knew, I don't know, you know, I was, I was looking around for a little, and then I saw this one guy, and I was like, oh, yeah, him. And then, <laughs> so I was, like, telling all my friends about it, and I don't want to get into it too much right now, but basically, um, I told him that I liked him on the last day of musical. We were both in musical together. It was Mary Poppins Jr., and I told him, and then from there, it was, like, fiery crash and burn, train crash into a volcano. Um, yeah, it fell apart. Like, ugh, it was a mess. It was a mess, hot mess express. I don't even know. But yeah, so that was a mess, and then the rest of 8th grade year was a mess, but, um, you know, only in that area, everything else was fine. But yeah, so that was, like, the big event, and ever since then, I'm, well, it's not that I haven't really liked people, I guess I've liked people, but never, like, blech, that much. I don't really feel like I need to be dating anyone, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Me and my friends, we don't really date people, I guess, we're more focused on, like, academics right now, which we always talk about, like, everyone else is living, like, the high school dream of, like, dating people and doing stuff, and we're just over here, like, AP physics, but, um, yeah, so ever since then, I've just been, like, you know, kind of whatever, but, yeah, I don't know, it's fine the way it is right now, but, yeah, so throughout the years, like, from end of seventh grade up to now, I've basically only ever told my friends about it, like, just my friends, like, no one else in my life really knows, except for this year, I told one family member, and it was my younger cousin, because it was just, like, night, and we were bored, and our older cousin was, like, sleeping, so we were just, like, whatever, and then we were just, like, kind of sitting there, and then I was, like, giggling, because I was, like, sometimes I get the urge just to, like, tell people, do you know what I mean? Because uh, it's just so hard and stressful to keep it in all the time, like, it's just an extra layer of stress that I really don't need, 
but I'm just like, you know, despite everyone always being nice to me about it, I'm still scared I'm going to get like judged, obviously, but I don't know, like, eh, you know, it's just so complicated, and it's like, I want to tell people, but at the same time, it's like, ugh, but keeping it in, like, makes me want to blow up, so, I don't know, I just got the urge, and I was just like, I'm telling her right now, so, uh, like, took me, like, a good 10 minutes to, like, get myself ready, and I was, like, giggling and, like, laughing, and I was like, ah, and she was like, what, and I was like, like, I have to tell you something, and she was like, okay, and then I was just like, like, it was so hard to say, like, in that moment, I think it literally would have been easier to, like, light myself on fire than tell her that I was gay, which is, like, that's so weird to me, but, you know, I told her eventually, and then she was just like, that's cool, just like everyone else, it was fine, I was just like, Ugh, I don't know why I get so worked up about it before telling someone, but yeah, so, it was cool, she's the only family member I've ever told so far, but, you know, I don't know, I'll tell them when I'm ready, and while we're on the topic, you know, of love and stuff, let's talk about Valentine's Day as a whole, because I think it might be my favorite holiday, just because it's so, like, it's so out there. Like, the other ones are like, you're like, oh, celebrating something, but this one, it's just like, oh, love day, it's day love, and I don't know, it's just so weird, because, like, you have people who are in couples, and then you have people who are, like, lonely, and then people who are just, like, okay with being lonely, and it's like, it all just comes out on this day, and everybody's just, like, like, everyone just is, like, wacky on Valentine's Day, I don't know, there's, like, a wacky feeling in the air, but... I don't know, I just think it's, like, such a unique holiday. Like, you don't have to be in a relationship to have fun on Valentine's Day. And that's why it's, like, I don't know, it's just really unique, and I like it. But back to the topic of, like, coming out as a whole and, like, telling people about it. Like, I feel like in today, you have so many, like, celebrities who are, like, gay, and it's great and stuff. But, you know, they tell you, and they're like, oh, you just have to be yourself. And it's like, you just have to, you know, do it. And that's really easy to say. But whenever you actually try and do it, it's like, yeah, because everyone has a different situation, obviously. So it's like, you know, you never know what it's like. And sometimes you feel like you need to come out, but it's just, you know, it's just not like time. And it's so much energy, like I said earlier, to keep it in. So it's just like a whirlwind of emotions all the time. And I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm making this video right now, so I'm, I could potentially be putting this in front of like a million people, maybe. That's obviously like a big overestimation, but, you know, I don't know, I, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but I'm saying something. Okay, time to add the final color, which is purple, which, as some of you know, is my favorite color, so it's a nice one to end on in this beautiful little rainbow heart. So yeah, I'm gonna post this video on Valentine's Day, like, today I'm recording it, it's not Valentine's Day, because I'll probably be busy on Valentine's Day, so I can't, like, record stuff, but yeah, I'm just gonna pretend like it's Valentine's Day for the video, but you know, anyway, I'm gonna post this on Valentine's Day, and then the next day, the 15th, is when, like, my school's Disney trip is, so I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna post this and then go to Disney with my friends, so yeah, that should be fun, but you know, I don't know, I'm gonna try and, like, not look at the channel for a few days, just in case anything crazy might happen, but, you know, I'm just gonna post it, and then leave it, and then try to relax, I don't know what I'm gonna do about, like, all my schoolwork and stuff while I'm in Disney, because we're missing three days of school, it was actually planned pretty good, because it goes over, like, a three-day weekend, so we don't miss that much stuff, but it's like, I might just pretend, like, school's not even a thing while I'm there, and, you know, just not be stressed and try to relax, but you never know what's gonna happen, but yeah, that's my plan, post this, and then go to Disney, and, you know, don't tell YouTube or anything, but I'm going to, like, post a couple, like, extra videos the day before, or, like, the days leading up to it, so I can try and, like, you know, manipulate the algorithm a little, you know, in my favor, because why not, and because I did that before, and it worked, and also, when people comment on stuff, it does get recommended more, so if anybody was looking for any information on that, it's true, because I told my friends to comment, and then they did, and then my videos, like, went up for a little bit, and of course now, you know, since I only posted, like, one per weekend for a little bit, it went back down, but oh well, as long as, like, one person is watching my videos and liking them, then, like, you know, I'll keep going forever and ever and ever. There we have it, the beautiful finished heart, although I feel like it looks a little, like, blank around it, we gotta add some little pretty things, let's add stars, because who doesn't love a good star, oh yes, that is just magnificent. Oh yeah, um, what else could I add? I could add little, little dots, little, little dots all over the place, you know, get all the colors in here, because that's, that's more fun, it's like a big heart in the sky now. I guess if there's other, like, closeted gay people watching this who need some advice, even though I talked about advice earlier on how it's like, you know, kind of useless sometimes, because everybody's different, 
Um, I'll give some anyway, even though I don't really know, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, just, like, feel it out. You have to feel it out, and you have to know. Like, don't do anything until you're really, like, truly ready to do it, and, like, it has to be you. You can't let anyone else, like, tell you what you need to do. You have to make these decisions for yourself. You have to, like, really be independent in it, because then in the end, that's gonna what, like, that'll work out best for you if you make decisions for yourself and do things when you're ready and when you feel like it's the right time. So, yeah, I guess, in conclusion, you know, you do you, honey boo boo, and <laughs> yeah, that is the end of my beautiful drawing and my talking, I guess. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm just putting this out there for the world. But anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!